So this is the Hurricane Shapeshifting variant. This is just initial testing day one on a single player character. There's a lot to go over and I don't think this build is fully optimized, but this does have more AoE and has an elemental kind of vibe to it with also some pretty cool survivability with Cyclone Armor. A cool variant on a Shapeshifter. It's definitely not like an S tier build, like it's maybe like A tier or below. But quickly breaking down the inventory, so I have just enough strength to equip my gear. Uh, nothing into dexterity, everything else into vitality. I could actually invest a little bit more, now that I think about it, to equip spirit on the offhand, but it doesn't really matter. So for the skill tree, you can now cast Hurricane in shape-shifting form. So I decided to take like a Wind Druid approach to a shapeshifter, make a Hurricane variant. So I put 20 air points into Cyclone Armor, Twister, Tornado, and Hurricane. So this is 2k cold damage per second, but it is amplified by the Infinity Mercenary that I have and the facet in my helmet. So on Players 1, it actually can kill stuff on its own. It's actually better than what you'd think. Summoning, nothing. I could maybe put one or point into Oak Sage, but I just put uh, two into Lycanthropy, one into Werewolf, and then 20 into Fury. It actually would maybe be a little bit better optimized, I think, if I just put one into Werewolf, one into Lycanthropy, 20 into Fury, Barrel Rage and Rabies, and then I put one into Oak Sage to get a little bit extra life. I don't really feel like respecing it for the video, but that's how I did the skill tree. Now the gear, I tried to make a combination of good physical damage, which is about 10k physical damage, and then 2k elemental. So I went with some interesting gear choices for the weapon. Doom and a Thresher for the IS, two at all skills, good ED, and negative cold res. So that, again, boosts the hurricane damage. Have a faceted night wings, again, boosting hurricane damage. Then everything else is kind of standard melee stuff. So High Lords, Fortitude, String of Ears, Raven Frost, a dual leech ring, laying of hands, and Gore Rider boots. On the offhand, I have CTA. Again, I mentioned the attributes a little bit messed up. I should have extra strength, but it's okay for the video. And then I have a Druid Torch, Annie Charm, different shape shifting scalars, and then different max damage attack creating small charms. So again, we're about 10k. Physical damage with the 2k elemental. Now, they did tell us in PTR, I swear they did, that you could cast Battle Orders and Battle Command in shapeshifting form. Doesn't look like that's the case. Because if I go to, it won't let me cast now. But maybe that'll be tweaked when we actually go to play. But you can actively cast Hurricane and Psychon Armor when you're in shapeshifting form. So this is sort of like the opposite of the Armageddon variant. So you just use Fury. Let your hurricane do the work. So these guys are cold immune. Just using fury on them. But these guys here, these spirits, you can actually just like pulse kill them. The hurricane damage. You see that like two, couple ticks. I can kill those blood maggots. It would be, like, you could mess around with that crazy maul that gives you plus 7 to elemental skills that they used on the Armageddon variant, but the only problem with that is, is you lose the negative cold res on Doom and trying to, like, boost the hurricane damage. And again, you could rock more elemental skillers, but if you do that, then you're sacrificing physical damage, so... You want me to go back to the original form? Okay, one second. Well, it's G. Yeah, quite the difference. Well, it's not ridiculous clear speed, but we at least have AoE. And we'd have more life if I put one point into Oak Sage. There's not a lot of cold immunes in Chaos Sanctuary. There's just the Oblivion Knights, so... It is, like, some extra passive. And I guess now that I think about it, I could go back and forth between Feral Rage for some extra faster run lock. So yeah, you should probably do that. Get Feral Rage proc and then just go back and forth to Fury. Same idea. Pretty cool style points build though. 
once. They're already attacked. Them. It is just BTR, I know. It's not a fully optimized build. Things might change a little bit, but... But this is like one of the few, like, new melee builds that actually has AoE. Is it like Tesla in clear speed? Amber in clear speed? No, definitely not, but... Cool to see the shapeshifter get a little bit of love. And we'll see what it's like doing the bugged Diablo boss. And you honestly should. You know, this is not Fireclaw, this is just using Fury and Hurricane. You could go full Fireclaw, maybe like Grief and Phoenix Shield, and use Hurricane for crowd control. Like, there's so many. This is a really weird build and there's so many ways you can build it. You can go just using Hurricane for crowd control. You can try and boost the damage, which is what I'm trying to do here. But still have some Fury damage. Like, I don't think you'd want to go all the Elemental Skillers. You would get more cool damage, but then you would have... You wouldn't have as good a Fury. So there's different ways you can build it. But it's really safe because the Holy Freeze Aura, like... And hurricane and stuff, everything is slow. Mercenary does decent damage. Yeah, it would be like it's a really good one point for sure. Well, the thing is, if you don't. I think you want to at least put 20 into it because. What's the dur. Is it 12 second duration with one hard point? So I don't think you'd want to just do one point because I don't think the duration would be enough. Again, this is just like kind of glimmery testing. You can see something is so off with these bosses. I don't. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure Crushing Blow is working properly right now with the bosses because. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because. I guess the only Crushing Blow I have is Gore Riders, yeah, so I don't have a ton of Crushing Blow. Crushing Blow is probably fine, but yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can build this. I want to kind of experiment. I might... I might run like a Maul setup. Like maybe... 20 into Werebear. 20 into Maul. And then one point in Hurricane, or maybe try fully maxed out Fireclaw. And Maul, or I don't know, with one point in a hurricane. Or excuse me, not one point. I think you need at least 20 points for the 50 duration. Anyways, just an interesting, cool different take on it. I think just casting Psycho Armor Hurricane. And I do think this will make a big difference if you're trying to do Uber Tristram on a shapeshifter. Because this should help clear up some of the minions and stun stuff so you don't get overwhelmed. And then Psycho Armor will help a lot if you recast it to absorb element, elemental damage. Yeah, guys, that's basically everything for the Hurricane Druid. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys would tweak or change anything. Again, this is just first day PTR. A lot of stuff to go over, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.